Thanks, Josh. In space news, this is a great way to celebrate America on the 4th of July. NASA's Juno spacecraft is scheduled to reach Jupiter today. CBS 4 News' Ashley Claster here to show us how this mission will allow Americans to study the planet like never before. Right at this very moment, Juno is approaching Io, the very closest moon to Jupiter. This is the biggest space event of the year. NASA launched the Juno spacecraft five years ago on August 5th, 2011. Today, Americans will start to unlock the mysteries and secrets of the planet for the first time. Today is when we enter orbit of Jupiter. Jupiter, the king of our solar system. It's bigger than everything in our solar system combined besides the sun. The Juno spacecraft arrives there today to study the interior of the planet. This mission is to probe deep inside the great planet to find out what's in there. Is there a core? Is there liquid? Is there water? We're going to find out real soon. The results can give us hints about our beginnings, how the solar system got started. And it can also teach us a lot about how our own planet functions right now. This is a milestone for our country. Juno will operate farther from the sun than any other solar panels in history. Normally we don't send solar panels out as far as Jupiter because the sun at that distance only puts out about 1 25th of the energy that we enjoy here at Earth. The solar panels are massive on Juno. If you put this thing in the middle of a basketball gym, it would cover the entire court. It's the largest solar panels ever flown in space and the most efficient. Jupiter is 500 million miles from the Earth, and the spacecraft to get there had to loop around the sun, pass by the Earth, and then head out to Jupiter, a 1.74 billion mile journey. A journey that took five years. Juno is also flying faster than any object has ever flown before. The Juno probe passed by the Earth in 2013, using the Earth and our mass to gain speed, propelling it to 160,000 miles per hour, the fastest man-made object ever made. The Juno mission ends February 20th, 2018, when the spacecraft is expected to crash into Jupiter. But the mission is not without risk. Jupiter puts off extreme radiation. So Nate, for a human, mm -hmm. this is the equivalent of about 100 million x-rays in less than a year. Also, there's a big ring of debris, uh, rock and mm -hmm. meteorites that s swivels around it, and that makes this very hazardous. And the team has one chance to get it right tonight. That's pretty amazing that it all happens tonight on the 4th of July, launching five years ago. Five years ago, the most American thing that could happen today. <laughs> very impressive. All right.